What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Japan and welcome back to Daikoku parking area. My name is Jay. Um, today I'm going to be talking about like just general car meets in Japan. Um, I've, I've looked online and noticed there was like a lack of just information on these kinds of things. So I decided to fill it in. If you're new here, my name is Jay. I also known as Gaijin Royalty. I do car stuff in Japan all the time, every single, every single weekend. I'm just out here giving you guys the best content possible. So go ahead and subscribe and leave a like if you don't mind. It definitely supports me. For this video, I'm gonna break it down into nine sections. The first section being where do car meets occur? Second, how do I get to the car meets? How do you get the car meets? The third is when do the car meets get shut down? Fourth, when and where does drifting occur? Drifting. Where can you get to the underground car meets and how do you know about them? Uh, six, car meet etiquette. Seven, where can you find out about car meets and events like online and stuff like that. And then uh, eight, where can you find car events? Sorry, am I stupid? I read my own thing wrong. Seven, where can I find cars when there are no events? Eight, where can I find car events? Nine, that's a surprise. Make sure you watch till the end because it's going to be huge. Look at this Ferrari thing. It's not a Ferrari, but it's got Ferrari stickers and Ferrari badges. And that one's got an Aston Martin badge. That is interesting. Oh, I know this guy. I took a video of his car a long time ago. <laughs> it's an entire, like, coping group. Oh, I like the purple on this one. But yeah, that kind of thing happens all the time. <laughs> like, so, yeah, I'm at the car meet right now. So question number one, where do car meets occur? That's actually, the, the, the answer to this question is actually pretty broad. They occur in a lot of areas. The main one being Daikoku PA, uh, Daikoku parking area, which is where I am now. Um, here, I'll do a little pan around. It's very, that, that right there, the big tower thing, um, pretty much tells you you're at Daikoku. <laughs> but you also have places like Tatsumi PA, you have Umi Hotaru PA, you have Heiwajima PA, um, Shiba, <laughs> if I'm gonna butcher this, Shibarua PA. You have Akihabara UDX. There's also a parking garage in Shibuya. Just a whole bunch of places. Now the next question that most people ask is how do you actually get to the car events and to these PAs? Because this PA, Dakoku, um, is on the toll roads. Whoa, look at that fair lady. That thing is nice. But yeah, we're on a toll road, so we're on the expressway. Hence, there's no way to walk here, no way to train here, etc., etc. Uh, so how do you actually get here? The answer to that question is that you actually just need a car. Like, there's no, there's no way around it. You have to have a car. However, there's a few ways. You can either take a taxi, which you don't do that. Taking a taxi is bad. So taxis near Daikoku have been instructed by the police not to bring tourists to Daikoku. So if you come by taxi, not only are you going to get charged an arm and a leg, they're also probably going to leave you behind because a lot of people, they rent a taxi and then they uh, ask the taxi to like, wait for them here at Daikoku, and then the taxi, they just dip, okay? So don't do that. There's only signs that say no taxis to Daikoku, okay? So just don't do that. Take my word for it, it's dumb. The next way is to get a tour to Daikoku PA. This right here is a huge subject, and it's very, 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 what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's not good, okay? It's, there's huge conspiracy on it right now, things like that, right? Uh, do not take tours to Daikoku PA. It's not good, okay? Tours to Daikoku PA, no matter what the company company tells you, they are illegal. It doesn't matter who the heck the company is, they're just not legal. Do it at your own discretion. My recommendation is not to use them. I'm not gonna tell you any of the company's names uh, just because I don't wanna just I don't wanna deal with that. But they're just they're not good, okay? The best way, the absolute best way to get here is to just rent a car and drive here yourself. Or just make a friend in Japan that has a car and doesn't mind taking you. Uh, so yeah, just do that. Um, I've taken a few people here before. I'm not going to take everybody's. Don't DM me about it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I don't have time to take a thousand people here uh, over the course of my entire life. If I know you, then sure. Like, yeah, I don't mind taking people. Like, you can make a friend somewhere. Um, network. Networking is a huge thing in Japan. So just be smart about it. Now that being said, there are a few places in Japan that you can get to without a car. It's like the uh, Akihabara UDX parking area, the parking garage, sorry. You can get there without a car. That's right next to Akihabara station. Um, another place is this parking garage in Shibuya. Uh, I don't know the actual name of it. It's like Shibuya Ward Office or something like that. And you can get there without a car. You can, you can take a train. So there are places that you can look for to, uh, to see cars without doing something stupid. Also, do not walk the Daikoku, that's illegal. Do not climb the fence, there's some people that do that. 
Just, just don't be dumb. All right, so you found your way to Daikoku or any other PA. Um, you got yourself a car. You made it to the, the car meet. You're here. You're looking at cool cars. When can you expect for these things to shut down? As of recently, the police have been pretty, I'd say pretty strict on the meets here. Um, they usually shut down between 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. on Fridays and Saturday nights. Obviously, the best time to come here is a Friday or Saturday night. Uh, so I recommend when you do come here to get here around 7 p.m. That way, if it does get shut down, you had at least an hour and a half an hour to see some cars. Just get here early. Don't expect it to be open. If you get here any later than 8.30, like if, if you're not gonna make it by 8.30, I just wouldn't show up. It's just it's not worth it. So the next question's a big one. It's drifting. Um, I know you all wanna see it. You all love, I mean, we all love, love to see it. Uh, so drifting is different. Um, there's not really an answer that I can actually give you. Uh, at Daikoku PA, drifting does occur sometimes um, and it's usually up there up on the top of those stairs however the police have cracked down on that and they've built like a wall so you can't look at that supra you, you can't go watch the drifting basically he had it perfect that thing's nice ain't it yeah, that <laughs> gives you a taste of uh, what Japan is like. Oh, and I often get asked, how do you find like street drifting and things like that? And honestly, I can't tell you. That's something that you really need to get into. Like you have to network and you have to be invited into those kind of groups. I've never actually seen any street drifting myself around here, aside from looking up on top of those stairs. I've seen some mountain drifting, some toge drifting, but that was completely random occurrence. I showed up at the right place at the right time. I'm not gonna say where I was, obviously for safety <laughs> i guess um yeah just just network talk to people make friends don't specifically ask because you're going to scare people away like if you're talking to a japanese guy and you ask him where can you find drifting he's probably gonna, he's going to be like i don't know not going to tell you and then he's going to go drift without you it takes time don't expect it to happen immediately just be careful another question i get asked very frequently is how you can find the underground car meets that occur the meets like tokyo drift the meets that happen during auto salon weekend i get asked that a lot uh the answer is also kind of if so a lot of people when they call, when they when they message me they are under the assumption those events happen you know every weekend kind of like daikoku and that's just not true those events are very rare at once every few months right most of those events are secret with quotation mark and you have to be invited to those events if i'm ever invited to an event like that i am not going to invite other people unless given permission by the guy if there ever is an event underground and it's public information i will absolutely share it you can find the information on my discord i'll post it on my instagram things like that so just keep a lookout you know the best way to find those things is to be on instagram or facebook or twitter or x uh, and just watch people's posts because that's where it shows up so number six is car meet etiquette uh, and that's just very simple we're in japan we're not in the states okay so there's no takedowns or takeovers sorry people are kind here people respect the authority uh, if the police tell you to do something people usually listen so just <laughs> this is freaking Aaron staring at me. What? What's up? I'm I'm doing a vlog, my dude. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Um. So my face, focus, please. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So car meet etiquette. Um. As I was saying, this isn't America. Uh. It's not your country. Just be respectful. Respect people's privacy. These people are not here. Like the people that are around, surrounding me right now. They're not here to be stared at. Um, stare at their cars, not the people. Most people probably appreciate you looking at their car. Just be nice. <laughs> yeah, just don't invade their personal space, things like that, because I've seen some crazy crap. Like, I've seen people get freaking surrounded before and just bombarded with attention just because, like, maybe it was, like, a cute car or something. Don't rev up at car meets. Don't do burnouts. Don't show off, okay? Nobody, nobody here is going to think that you're cool because you showed off. We've had a dude, like, the, tr the truck area right there. We've had a, a foreigner rent a car and drift in that truck area. Do not do that. It's not freaking cool. Don't do anything that gets attention from the police. There's a police station right here. Actually, hang on, turn this around. That building right there is a police station. They are literally listening and watching the entire time. So if you start being loud, you start revving up, you start playing loud music, they're gonna come, they're gonna shut the place down. So just don't be obnoxious and respect the noise levels. They'll also yell on the intercom and they'll come find you. Make sure you follow 
the guidelines, like anywhere, this is for any PA, follow the arrow. One thing that happens a lot here at Dicoca PA is people drive on the, the wrong way and the cops come out immediately and shut the place down because somebody was being stupid. All right, number seven, where can you find cars when there are no car vents or car meets? There's actually a few places like Akihabara UDX uh, parking garage. You're not gonna find a meet, but you will see cool cars. Just walking around Akihabara, even walking around Roppongi, pretty much anywhere in Tokyo, honestly, you can just walk around. There's also shops you can go to. You can go to Liberty Walk Tokyo, not Harajuku one, the one that's in Saitama. It's called Liberty Walt Tokyo, okay, but it's it's not in Tokyo. Uh, but it's actually called Obuchi Motors. I'll leave the word somewhere on the screen. You can go there and see their cars. They'll love it. Show up and buy some stuff. They're good people. Things like that. You can just do a little research. And there's like, there's car cafes everywhere. You can just sit down and have a coffee next to a Porsche or something like that. So, yeah, I'll link a few in the description. All right, number eight. Where can you find out about car vents? So, I've actually started a Discord, a whole community. Its purpose is just to show you guys where car vents are happening. So, if you go on there and you check out the discord I, we post car events in there all the time there's an entire events page you can go in there and find car events you can also hit up my friends his website which is rpm generation sorry sorry lucho i can't remember the exact link right now i'm gonna put the link on the screen and put it in the description or go follow his instagram at rpm generation his website is gonna have a bunch of events on it in the upcoming future that'll be a super big avenue for you guys to find events another good place to find events is clutch kickback so go check out their Instagram, it's going to be on the screen. Uh, I work with them and help them do car stuff. They host a lot of good events. I think this coming weekend we have an underground car event happening, so there's, there's cool stuff. And the weekend after this, I believe, is the Clutch Kickback Spring Fest, which is a giant drift event. So definitely go hit that up. All right, number nine, the last one. This one is huge. Uh, it's what you guys have probably been waiting on. If you saw, like, the chapter section, I'm giving away a free trip to Japan. I'm going to bring you here to Daikoku. I'm going to take you to Tatsumi. I'm going to take you to Umihotaru. I'm going to show you around the entire car scene here in Japan, all for free to you. Uh, all you have to do to win is be subscribed to my page. I'm going to be giving away the giveaway when I hit 100,000 subscribers. Subscribe, uh, and you might end up here in Japan. That's pretty much it. That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to go look around at some of these cars. You have Aaron. Aaron's car right here. He's about to pull out and go do rollers. I hope this video is helpful. If I miss anything, leave a question in the comment section and I will answer your comment. I'll be in the comment section a lot in this video so I can clarify things. I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.